soon as you hover over the hyperlink, it'll bring you right to the source. Um, we're talking listings today, correct? Okay. Listings. One thing on our on our site, you have access to our CCNR and flat maps. Mm -hmm. Anybody use this? Anybody not use it? I use it. You need to get to it. If you if, if you have never been here before, it's a one time um, it's a one time uh, sign up. Um, submit to register, and the reason why you register, there's no solicitation, but the reason why you register is if you pull up uh, some CCNRs for your client and they, they want to get to them, um, as soon as you pull those CCNRs up, you have the option just to email it to them. Instead of downloading the, the 100 or 200 pages to your source and then sending it to them, you send them that hyperlink and you're done. I'm going to look at property space. I'm, gonna, I'm going to, uh, everybody knows that this is now a, an auto-populate. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Select your county. Auto-populate. You select your property. Once you've done that, I want to look at. I want to look at a couple of things. We're, we're looking at that interactive map, which we're going to look at that aerial. Everybody uses this. Um, there's a couple others that I want to show you. Everybody knows about the Casey Earth. That's a great tool. Um, this one here is, is fine if, that's, if, you, if you just need something quick and easy. Just remember, you're looking at two-dimensional and three-dimensional. It's all squished down. Use it as a reference point. It's never going to be exactly on the lines. So just kind of look at it for the lay of the land. Make sense? You with me? All right, Casey Earth. That's the next one we're going to go to. Um, all right. This is a product uh, proprietary to uh, to Microsoft, it's a product called Silverlight. So at this point, we were kind of talking about it. Something you can't get on your smartphones or your tablets. I found a tablet out there. I was talking to Ben about. It, I'm pretty excited about um, that. That does allow you to have this access. But at this point, um, this is an aerial that you can't utilize unless you're at a PC. Uh, but the great thing about it is, uh, is when you're searching by area, let's just fly to the product. Let's let's uh, let's just fly to the property. Again, everybody's used this, right? Pretty much. The imagery from here is, is a product uh, between the relationship of Avista and the county. Avista does a flyby, the solid product to the county. The county has the imagery. You see the updated imagery for this is 2011-2012. They've added a couple new hyperlinks uh, or, or uh, overlays to this. One is... Um, if you're farther out on your map, farther out on your map, if you're farther out on your map um, and you want to activate uh, the road names, road labels large area will allow you to see the road names when you're further out so you, you don't have to zoom all the way in and then pan over. That's kind of helpful. The other thing they've just added, uh, bus routes, which is handy if you have someone that's vehicle challenged, let's just call it that. Um, another one, um, this might help your insurance folks, fire hydrants. It takes a little bit to populate this one, but where this might be helpful is for insurance purposes or those that of you that are dealing with uh, commercial properties. Where you have lots of dogs that you go in the box with. <laughs> There's some fire hydrants. Does it pull up on new properties? <laughs> it can. You know where they're at. All right. So if, if, we have, if we've identified, um, let's see, I'm going to go back to our subject property real quick, because this is really important. Right. So um, who is the number one employer in Putney County? Anybody know? KMC. Putney Medical Center, yes. Putney Medical Center is the number one employer. Most of those docs and nurses are on an on-call status and they need to get there within half an hour. So drive time is going to be really important to those people. Um, you have a tool on here called a, called a measuring tool. It's not only great to be able to zoom in and, and look at your depth and width of, of your recreational parking area or to figure out fencing, um, but it can also help you calculate the drive distance for your clients. So here's our subject property. I'm going to leave this one up here. And I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to pull it up so I can get to Kootenai Medical as well. And we don't have to make this exact, but if you've got that measuring tool and you kind of know your drive distance or, or your roads are going to be taken. Huh. 
If this was TJ, he would just hold us right through town. We know that. So roughly, we've got a little less than five miles. Good information to have. At this point, everybody knows about how to, how to do a screen capture. Use that snipping tool. Do a little click and drag to create that photo. Maybe include that in a presentation to your clients. Here's, um, here's one that I've done. This was a property that uh, a client had. These folks were interested in, in um, their own little rural Idaho. Um, and they wanted to know their closest point to that, that hunting property, which is Idaho Department of Lands. So the subject property is listed here with the, with the uh, tag. Here's the address. Here's the property, which is Idaho Department of Lands. And then all we did was a, was a drive the route, which shows up with 3.52 miles. At this point, I didn't stop there. What I did down here in the lower left is I integrated her photo and her her uh, her, her company logo, and she sent that, that flyer out to her client. I mean, what a great tool. Yes? Captain, can you show me that snipping tool again real quick? Yes. That's all right. If you don't see it up here, if you just start, when you do a search program, start typing SNIPP, and when it, when it populates, just right click. And I just, I pin it to my, ta my, my start menu. Your taskbar is this little dog down here, and I don't really want 100 of those things down there. Just pin it to your start menu, so as soon as you hit that globe, it'll pop up. Is that snippy tool on all computers? Yes. On anything uh, XP or uh, this and above? Yeah, if you have XP, you need, you'll need a Band-Aid to, to make it work. Um, you could use any kind of, maybe a photo, or do a, just, a, um, just do a, a control print screen and open up Word and, and uh, paste it there. You can make it work, though. Did that answer your question, Pete? Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. The next one I'm going to go over um, is the City of Coeur d'Alene has got a mapping site. Anybody know that? Anybody not know it? No what? No hands? What's City of Coeur d'Alene has got a, um, another aerial site. Okay. No, and it's not just good for the City of Coeur d'Alene, it's good for all properties in the county. Hmm. But if your property is in the city limits of, of Coeur d'Alene, it's going to be, um, it's going to give you a lot more information. Um, such as what day trash day is. And people laugh about that, but where I live in the landings today is trash day. And if your folks closed on the house yesterday and moved in, it'd be great if, if it was me, I'd like to know to get that trash can out. So the imagery from here is Google-based, so you can use it on your tablets and your smartphones. Um, it looks more like, kind of like a USGS map. I'm going to... Uh, Zoom in a little bit here. Um, here's where you do your searching from on this page. It's 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 really user friendly. Um, where um, on the the KC Earth, when you do search by address, you have to put the address number, and then at least the street name. At, at, there was a point when they wanted to know direction too. If you didn't have it, it would say nothing found. Whereas the, the city of Portland site, all I did was put in the number. You can just put in the number and it will populate. And then once you find it, just right click and tell it to zoom to the property. That's cool. So it's pinned that property. It does have a measuring tool. And that measuring tool, we're going to measure the. Maybe your boat is. Where you can put the boat. Okay, I, I, I had a boat. Thanks, that was a little short subject. Appreciate that. But it does have a metric converter if you guys have some Canadian clients. Welcome. Turkey hunting this morning? Good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, one thing I wanted to kind of talk about was the overlays. Now, on the KC Earth, We've got uh, the city limits, which is very handy. You've got people, you got some folks that want that Dalton Acre. Um, you can, this can kind of help keep you on task of, of, uh, of making sure you're just showing them those type of properties. Uh, for interest purposes, we've got some areas that have city around them. Those are county properties. 
So you've got the city, uh, the uh, you've got city and county. Everybody know where Margaret, Margaret turns into Kathleen, right? Mm -hmm. And then on this side it turns into Shattuck, which is a lot of fun. And then you have 15th Street. If we were to identify this property here, this property is Gardendale Acre Tracks. Great, you pull it up, you know which CCNRs to pull up, right? Because there's, there's your track. This right here, this parcel number, starts with a C, tells me it's in the city of Port Wayne. The property right next to it, this one here, is also Gardendale Acre Tracks. This property is a rural subdivision, it's outside of the city limits. So unless you actually pull up that parcel over, you're not going to know. I know we're kind of getting into some different areas over here, are you okay with that? Yeah, it's great. Okay. It's going to have the same CCNRs, but one property was annexed into the city, huh. and one property was not annexed in. So what's the difference going to be? Taxes. Taxes, yeah. Slightly different. Services. Yeah, your services. They they have uh, septic, they don't have, they have, have uh, the city sewage system. When I was still an appraiser, this little piece right here that I'm pointing at, that property was a rural piece. It was vacant, and then they built, and they wanted access to the city sewer, so hence you've got now, it's a city property. And you'll also see that their boundary lines changed slightly because, see how it's indented a little bit? Because they had to conform to today's code for building code and compliance. Are all those other properties on septic and wells, or how does that work? All these, other, all these other properties are on city water, but they have their own septic. So the, uh, the, the, the Coeur d'Alene site, the different overlays are down here. Oops. You guys have any questions, let me know. Just, uh, if you expand these pages, I want to get onto this one where we have, uh, you've got the bus routes. I think this one is more user friendly looking at the city site. I like the way it pulls up. Kevin? Yes. Which site do you recommend we get the most precise city limit? This one or the KC? Both of them will give you the, the exact number of city limits. You'll notice the, the, this one's maybe a little more user friendly if you're looking at bus routes. It'll actually tell you the cross streets. Oh, <laughs> Who's driving this bus? All right. The other thing that's great coming into the summer months and people like, uh, you've got your triathletes like PJ back there, they want to know where the bike routes are. And this might be one of those things where this might sell that house if, if you have that information. That's really cool. The other great thing about this, because it is Google-based, hello, because it is Google-based, they, you might have that opportunity to have the street view. 